Hi, foodie friends, Jessica here. And today we are going to be making one of the newest food trends, butter boards. You might have heard of them. They are basically my dream come true. You know how much I love salt and butter. Bread is just a socially acceptable way to get butter from point A to point B, but this makes it fancy and acceptable. And I'm gonna teach you how to make four of my favorite flavors. The first thing you wanna start off with is a really good quality butter. This is a European butter. And the difference is, is that it's higher in butter fat than most American butters. I have let this soften all day long. And as you can see, it's still a little hard to smush with the back of my spoon. That is because it's higher in butter fat. European butters have a minimum of 82% butter fat. American butters are closer to 80. You might also notice that it is a deep yellow hue, and that has to do with the types of grass that cattle are fed. Most European cattle are grass-fed only, and it has a higher level of beta carotene, which is what gives it this lovely color. Part of the fun of this is arranging a board, but it doesn't need to be perfect. If you're one of those people that really likes things to be in sections and you don't like your food to touch, feel free to use a square board and put your squares of butter and make sure they don't touch so that those flavors don't marry into each other. But for this one, all of our flavors are similar enough that it's not really going to make a huge difference. And they can kind of just naturally blend in together. We might find some fun new flavor variations on those overlaps. You can also do a single flavor if that's what you wanna go for. This right here is a dream to me. Do you see all of that beautiful yellow butter? We're gonna start with my first flavor variation. This one is gonna be lemon zest. We'll go right here. We're just gonna wing it, okay? Lemon zest has a really clean lemon flavor, not as sour and puckery as a lemon juice fresh citrus flavor. I like to get a lot in there. Citrus is also great for infusing butter. So if you make this ahead of time, which you can up to an hour or two before serving, this part of that butter is really gonna carry over in those citrus flavors. You have a flaky sea salt. This is unsalted butter, so we need to season it. Measure that with your heart and fresh herbs. Use whatever fresh herbs you want. Here I have flat leaf parsley, also known as Italian parsley, thyme, and rosemary. So this is like a true Italian blend. And freshly cracked pepper. You know how I feel about fresh pepper. It's gonna have the best peppery flavor if we freshly grind it. If you want a milder flavor, go with a white peppercorn instead of a black peppercorn. Our next section is gonna start off with citrus as well. I like to put the citruses next to each other and this one's gonna be using orange zest. Oh, I love it. Do you see the color there? That bright orange against the yellows. It also smells delightful. People are gonna smell your butterboard before they see it and then they're gonna say, what's that? This one is a lot of fun. It's very fresh, also herby. We're gonna use mint. Again, another really fragrant herb. And crunch, pistachios. These are salted pistachios. So this is where this section of butter is gonna get its seasoning from. The natural salt on the pistachios will add that in. Next section, also savory, I roasted garlic. I always have a head of roasted garlic in the fridge. Works for everything. And the, today it is going on my butter. Roasted garlic doesn't have as much pure garlicky flavor. It's a little bit more mild, depending on how you do it. I just did this one in the oven. It can also be a little bit smoky, but it isn't gonna be a really strong, pungent garlic flavor. So feel free to add a little bit more than you might if it was like a fresh garlic. Here we're gonna use basil. We're also going for some of those Italian flavors, fresh basil, and this was just hand torn from a fresh basil plant. I highly suggest doing basil right before you serve it because it can get a little brown around the edges if you wait too long. So if you are making your board ahead of time, hold off 
on the basil until you're ready to go. And this is an aged Parmesan cheese. It has crystallization in the cheese, full of salt, and that's how it's gonna get its seasoning. Our last section is my sweet section, and I am using dried figs. If you have fresh figs, by all means, go ahead and use those. These I've thinly sliced and cut into half. Other dried fruits like dates, raisins, and currants also work so well for a sweet butter. And it's sweet, so we're gonna use honey. Local honey from my area. Honeys can also pack so much flavor and have so much of a good flavor variety. This is a wildflower honey, so it also is very fragrant. Look at that, a thing of beauty. And you know what? This section also needs a little bit of salt because salt helps to balance all of those sweet flavors. Now we're ready to serve our butterboard. So what do you serve with a butterboard? I personally love a really crusty loaf of bread, but you can really serve anything. Some people like crackers. You could also do fresh produce like carrots, celery, bell pepper strips, radishes. You could also do meats and you could do meats on top too. Prosciutto, salamis, all of these things are an excellent addition. You can build a charcuterie board right around your butterboard. Let me cut up this bread and we'll give it a taste test. I am ready to eat. So I've got my pieces of bread and I am going to dip right. Hey Jessica, it looks like you need help with that. Where'd you come from? Yeah, I would not want to leave you alone with this butter board. It just doesn't seem right. Okay, so I have some friends here. This is Amy from House of Nash Eats, and we've got Sam from Sugar Spun Run. And of course, I will share my butter with them. Grab some bread, ladies. Okay, I'm gonna do this lemon. So That's what I was going for, too. Mmm. This is amazing. It's incredible. Okay, I'm on board. You're on board with the butter board? I'm on board. Well, guess what? You can also make it with cream cheese. You can even do buttercream boards. You should get on that, my baking friend. This is amazing. I'm going to get on that. From my kitchen to yours, have a great day.